Nursing homes have been hit so hard in the pandemic. At its peak, there were more than 30,000 new resident cases during the week of December 20th. That's according to national data from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Since then, that number has significantly dropped. We're talking more than 80%. That's in part because vaccinations in nursing homes are pretty much complete. Reporter Kaylin Cluck is tracking the impact on facilities in one part of Tennessee. Promising data for one of the pandemic's most vulnerable populations. COVID-19 cases and deaths have fallen sharply among Northeast Tennessee long-term care and nursing home residents. Hopeful from the numbers is Ryan Youngblood, a clinical assistant professor at ETSU and former nursing home administrator. I would say that this is really positive news. If you're looking at everything since, you know, say the 1st of December especially, uh, we've been on kind of this roller coaster ride until about, what, the last full week of December where we started dropping. 13 resident deaths have been reported by the TDH in the past six weeks. Compare that to 98 deaths in the six weeks prior. Zero deaths were reported in the most recent week data was available. We haven't won the war yet. Uh, I think the tide is, is turning. Dr. Stephen May of the Sullivan County Health Department credits a few reasons for the promising numbers. Decreased community spread, isolation and quarantine measures working, and vaccination being offered to all long-term care residents across the state. All of our facilities, uh, long-term care and assisted care facilities have had the opportunity to get the vaccine. Dr. May said the community still needs to be cautious as new virus variants spread. Viruses that aren't replicating can't mutate. Not everyone eligible, including long-term care residents, are choosing to be vaccinated. But if a majority of the population is, Youngblood says this still makes a difference. I think overall it leads to herd immunity. As long as we're getting large populations immunized, I really think that we'll turn that corner. Now, new long-term care staff cases in East Tennessee are also falling. The Tennessee Department of Health reported just two cases among staff in the most recent week that was tracked. And here in Knox County, our health department says deaths and cases have dropped 70 percent and 55 percent, respectively, since their record highs in January.